Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna try something different with this video. I'm gonna give you a wrap up of this week in Law Tube. Cause maybe you don't, obviously you don't have time to watch all of Law Tube because you come here for like fun little bits, but maybe you don't even have time to watch those bits. Maybe you're just so busy, you just kinda like wanna know what happened. And so today I'm about to tell you what happened in Law Tube this week. First of all, Nick Riqueda, and that umbrella guy got Tug's tits to trend in about an hour and a half. And the reason that that's a thing is because they used a picture of a busty woman in the, it was like some fucking Amber Heard shit. Amber, Amber Heard is trying to get back at all the people who she thinks ruined her in the court of public opinion. And top of that list, is that umbrella guy, Mr. Umbrella Man. Hey, honestly, this sounds like a, like schizophrenia. Or also Tug's tits. So anyways, Rakeda got that to trend in an hour and a half, just kind of like as a ha ha ha, fuck you. We don't give a shit about your shit. And it passed up the Stanley Cup. It passed up some sweepstakes thing. And yesterday, that was like two or three days ago. And yesterday, somebody said it's still trending. Oh, we saw Lady Logic. Good Logic flew across the country and sunbathed um, next to the pool. Him and his wife, fully clothed. It was good. I want to ask you, Lady Logic, can you weigh in here for a second? Weigh in. Okay. So, you know what? We're going to move over here because she's busy sunning. Can't ask her to move. No, no, no. As an observer, because it was basically, it was basically, um, a law tube table with Lady Logic sitting in. So what was it like? I got my own private stream. <laughs> she drives at least 20% of the time. And it's probably more. Probably much, much more. Fair and Balanced live streamed on Friday. Speaking of uh, Supreme Court decisions, the states got their rights back as far as abortion goes um, on Friday. And she lives in D.C. And she went down there with the cutest dog called Buddy. And showed us the rage and there was like no fucking rage you know where there was rage there was rage at the corner where there was a street preacher the youngest the most innocent in our culture dread be scott that it was okay to return slaves to their masters because they were not endowed by the creator and again i appreciate the chat funny unexpected um there was a wedding in california I'll post a picture right here. Looks to me like Kurt and Elena got married. So congratulations to Legal Bites and Uncivil Law. Um, that's allegedly. I'm just kidding. People are saying didn't Legal Bites already get married? And that is true. She got married. She did a what she considered a military ceremony, and then COVID happened, so they could not celebrate. And so after a couple of years of being married on paper, they got married for funsies and did the party. I think I even saw uh boss what's her name? Boss attorney Bree. I think I didn't really see her, but I did see this fat diamond ring. I think that's Brie. I'm pretty sure her fiance put a bigger rock on her than her. Um, oh, this is Kurt's last week as a patent attorney. Today is Sunday, which is like the end of June. He had said that his last day of working was July 2nd, which makes this his last week. So congratulations to Kurt. He hit 100,000 subscribers. And I just... You know, when everybody tells you, like, this is a shitty idea and you still do it, I could totally respect that. Like, that's, like, the story of my life. So, good good on Kurt. I'm going to post right here um, the video from two months ago when he was on um, one of the panels and they just happened to bring up YouTubing and your career. And... This is what he said then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the pay is neither great up front nor continuing for the most part. <laughs> However, you will note that Elite has got a wonderful community. But yeah, generally speaking, don't do this to try to substitute for your career money. Uh, I'm doing not it only to don't do that, for my career money. Richard, but, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm serious. 
I, I mean, I gotta. Hey, I gotta get Emily out. D. Baker is doing just fine, of course. Yeah. Okay, the- Chief, if you might manage to get on, you know, ABC's summary of the year uh, and Business Insider, and you've become Emily, more power to her. You got it down. Nick Ricardo writes great today. And Terry Tom is doing great. I mean, there's he a lot really of people does. doing well. There's I'm always s- the legal eagle who we despise. He's not oh, we don't like doing him? very well for himself. And he's actually doing it. He's done so. So. I don't know how much money you make when you get a hundred thousand subs, and I don't know how many views he gets on his videos, but I would say it's probably like a lot. So, so good luck, Kurt. You're now a full-time YouTuber. Good luck. Good luck in your chat. I know those people can be vicious. They've come over here to tell me what a shit troll I am too, and. To them, I just, uh, thank you for the click. Please hit the dislike button so that I can get your interaction and definitely comment, definitely comment. Um, probably sub too. I would sub to me just to make sure you really keep a good eye on me. That would definitely teach me a lesson. Um, I also really, really, really want to do a Bible study, not a Bible study, not even a religion, a Jesus podcast i just need somebody to ask questions to or ask questions of me because it's so hard to talk to myself it's it's like stepping on a bee did you guys hear that amber is gonna sell her book she wants to sell a book for a book it's gonna be for a book it's gonna be for your book do we need to sign ndas for your book does law tube need to sign ndas for your book <laughs> oh is this gonna be good for your book Oh, should I have you sign an NDA for your book? You don't need your book. No, Is this gonna be good for your book? Is this gonna be good for your book? So, it's for your book. Is this gonna be good for your book, Amber? Is this going in your book? Are you gonna have Umbrella Guy on your book? Um, the end. Oh, I did find stuff out about Amber. <sighs> I found out that she was doing sex with Elliot Spitzer, who is a nasty old politician guy who got a divorce because he was doing sex with prostitutes while he was married and a politician. I think he lost his wife and his job. Disgusting. It reminds me of, of a certain island owner who did not kill himself um i wonder i so super wonder if she was part of that and like that would make a lot of sense why she her uh, it's a conspiracy theory i don't want to talk about it but she, uh, everyone made such a big deal about io calling the police and it was actually rocky who called the police 911 emergency upper to 278 hi i need to report an assault right now happening okay are you there right now ma'am no I'm downstairs. It's Eastern building. Downtown LA. From downstairs in the building. Can't even believe it. I can't believe her and Elon were doing an affair for like a year before the we found out. How dare they have a great affair? How dare they with their secrets? Um, what else? Do you think that do you think that Amber's baby is Elon's baby? And maybe that's why she told us that lie about the microwave. It's because she wanted Elon to be like, that's my baby. But he didn't say that, so probably it's not. Uh, what else? I heard the tape from Amber. Dude, in the UK trial, somebody from the hotel, the front desk manager, she went into a lot of detail. She said when she fi- heard like all Amber's bullshit, she was like, wait a minute. I remember seeing this, 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 and this, and I had to say something because I knew it was a lie. After seeing the news reports of Miss Heard's battered face and domestic abuse allegations, I was disturbed. When I went to work on Monday, May 30th, 2016, I knew this. I knew the police came to the penthouse the evening of May 21st. I knew that Mr. Depp left on May 21st and had not returned. I knew that I saw and interacted with her Monday, May 23rd, Tuesday, May 24th, and Wednesday, May 25th, with a clear and unmarked face. I knew I saw her leave the building on the way to court with a face that appeared marked for the first time on Friday, May 27th. I believe that the facts stated in this witness statement are true. 
Signed, Trinity Corinna Sparza, December 12th, 2019. <sighs> uh, what else? That's it. That's really it. That's all for your book, Amber. This is for your book. Amber, this is your book. I'll sign it in the egg. Put it in your book.